jewelry. The prettiest jewelry in the land. Yeah, we're taking this <clears throat> mock sapphire. This is a bunch of bangers in it. You got Through the Breach, Zealous Conscripts, Crater Hoof. Gonna put this over here. Hopefully someone passes us Ancestral. They're like, oh, I opened Black Lotus and Ancestral. I guess I'll take the Lotus. Hold on for one more Thank day. You. Oh, Mike Hypothesis. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate the resub. Weird coincidence. You sang that song last time I caught the stream. We left to go Home Depot and it was playing in the store. Well. I don't want to say the universe is a simulation, but uh, it's definitely a simulation. <clears throat> Guys, you want to see what I got in the mail today? Just to be clear, it's not beta. <clears throat> it is a collector's edition, but it's going in the cube all the same. It is a beautifully minty Ancestral Recall going on the cube. This is actually the most expensive magic card I own, interestingly enough. <clears throat> I don't I don't have many pricey magic cards. I have a ton of pricey comic books. But um, as far as magic cards go, this is literally the most expensive card I own now. <sighs> I think I just want Delta here. It's nice and safe. How many bones do they take from your body for that? A lot. More than I have, I think. More bones than I have. Uh, I'm I'm hoping to have no proxies in my cube. I'd like to have at least collector's editions in there. <clears throat> and they're actual magic cards that do go up in value. So, you know. Oh, that's right. You're a you're a power hanger. I had an interview today and then it was moved till tomorrow. So wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck tomorrow. I'm gonna take Baleful Strix. Oh, good old fashioned counterspell, but also Grim Monolith. Uh I will not say with whom right now. Uh Counterspell, I think. I think it's. I think I just like Counterspell better than Grim Monolith, which feels weird. Oh, and then we get Cryptic Command and a Treachery and a Mold Drifter and a. G oh my god. Oh my god. So I'm going to take the Treachery with the reasoning that Cryptic Command is too restrictive for someone else to take. Maybe it'll still be here. And that would be great. NSA got it. <laughs> What up, Shoe Garner? No one can change your life except for Michael B. That's not true. He wishes it were true. I like Cold Steel Heart here. I like Wrath of God. Four blue black, right? Thirst for knowledge? When do you find out about the place you applied for yesterday? Um... <clears throat> She said she'll know by Wednesday, and there's one other application, but it's not first come, first serve. So we applied for a house, uh, a rental house yesterday for our move because we went and saw it and we liked it a lot. <clears throat> and they're running our, our information today to see if we qualified, but um, they don't go first come, first serve. They just look at who would be the most qualified. So hopefully we are the most qualified. So we can either... Let's let's take the Galda Shrine because we can get it with Delta. Mm -hmm. I like Looter. I think we're we're more of a Looter deck. Drowned Catacombs. Well, we're not attempting to move there. We're definitely moving there because Katie got her residency there. <clears throat> I'm going to take Thief of Sanity over Drowned Catacomb. I think it's just 
a much stronger card. I'm going to take, is it Urborg? I don't like Urborg because it, it potentially helps them as well. Let's take Sword. Sword of Fire and Ice is one of the better swords. I don't hate Painful Truths. Oh, Baron, congrats, buddy. Yeah, I'm not being very forthcoming with, with like, where we're moving and also um, the the job interview. But, but like, reasons being that I just don't... Uh, it's not It's not information I want to, like, promote yet. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Um... I'm going to take Emrakul, because Emrakul actually did some heavy lifting for us. And, and Muldrifter, Cryptic Command, and the other one were all taken. That's kind of funny. <clears throat> Hold on for one more day. Living death, careful study. I'll take living death. Oh, Geist of St. Traff, not terrible. <clears throat> I like a Library of Alexandra in this deck. That seems pretty good. Yeah, moving always sucks. It doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter how how small the move is. It's always terrible. Let's take library. I don't hate commit to memory. I don't think we want double white card. Yeah, let's do commit to memory. <clears throat> That's why I bought a place, so I wouldn't have to move. Oh, every time I move, I end up getting rid of a ton of stuff. And I'm like, feels good. Goodbye, things I don't need. Ooh, clear water pathway and dark murk water pathway. That's a good one. Let's take this on color land. So, less exciting, I also picked this guy up. It is a, a collector's edition balance. Got old frame and old art, which is what I was looking for, but the betas are like $900 to $1,000. And I'm just like, you know what? Maybe one day I'll pick one up, but <clears throat> not really. God, why is this demonic tutor still here? I don't understand these people. I'm just taking Demonic Tutor. Oh, three mana Tefri? Oh, shoot. I'm really hoping the uh, Azorius Signet comes back. So our upgrades today were Ancestral Recall and Balance. Oh, super nifty ninja. Message to be yourself. Write Frank a YouTube comment. Do it. Don't forget... Oh, and I got my vaccine this Saturday. Man, it's been an exciting weekend. Between Saturday and today, it's been a... A lot of things have happened. <clears throat> Hold on for one more day.
Mm. Oh, creeping tar pit, control magic, sublime hint. This pack is insane. What is going on? Mm. Why is my phone going bananas? Oh, it's telling me. It's telling me that my package that was delivered. I get three different notifications. Um, God, Dorox great. Creeping tar pit is great for our mana base. It's definitely one of these three, I think, but good gravy. I think it's Sublime Epiphany. It was definitely so, so entirely distracted. The funny thing is, um, when I was trying to get my Vax, I felt like I was trying to hit like a six shoe drop. Like I'm like refreshing the page every 10 minutes or like, or like trying to get like a PS5. <laughs> I'm like, oh, come on, we'll get there. Oh, uh, no restocks. Take a daze. I like Ophiom Answer. I like Duretti too, but we have no way to splash red so far. You can definitely win the Vax Shuffle. Um. Oh, White Blue Land. Great for our Teferi. I'll take it. I want to take Batter Skull in case that Stone Forge comes back. Oh, shit, my second dose is tomorrow. Well, good thing I reminded you. <clears throat> it took tons of leaving messages and nothing was available online. One called back and I dropped. Yeah, so same. Like, well, not, not super same, but like I was refreshing like the... Uh, there's like the CVS page that shows you like where the vaccines are. Um, I'm going to take Angel over Shriek Maw. I just think it's a better card, and we might be able to to support it in future packs. Um, and it'll keep telling you, like, fully booked, almost gone, restocked, whatever. And then you can click on the, on the city you're in. Yeah, let's go for that. Um, and then it'll tell you, like, what areas have the, have the availability. Entomb? That is a late Entomb. The Hymn to Torak came back, for crying out loud. Wall of Omens is actually playable in this deck. Oh, Consecrated Sphinx, Teferi. <sighs> Dang it. I think we're taking Consecrated Sphinx because we've already been hurt before by by not taking it. I mean, if Vindicate, Resto, Oblivion Ring, or Thran Dynamo come back, like we'll be in good shape, but I'm taking the Consecrated Sphinx. Also, nobody else might be in white, so it's very possible we get that guy back. Talarian Academy, huh? I think we're just taking Riftwing Cloud Skate. I think we just want lands at this point. We have 20 playables right now. Click is great. I think it's just temple. I think we want to be more, more land conscious. You know, I really do hate it when my prime so deactivates and I have to watch an ad before starting the stream. Oh, so it's all it's all coming together now. Brett only Brett only subscribes out of convenience for the sweet sweet ad avoidance. All right, I get it now. We do we have no planeswalkers. We have one planeswalker. Immortal Sun. Interesting. I mean, there's also Necromancy and Diabolic Servitude, and we have Entomb. 
I buy other people's soaps for the support. That's true. I sub myself for the free ads. I buy other people's subs for support. Brett, I appreciate you, buddy. It's either Immortal Sun or Servitude or Necromancy. I don't know which. I think it's Immortal Sun. What if that other Teferi comes back, though? Then we're going to feel silly. I'm going to take Necromancy. Animate dead? Wow, now they're just giving it to us. We don't have many creatures to entomb, though. That's the problem. We passed Gristlebrand. We passed Shieldred. Oh, we have to take Shackles? How many islands are we realistically going to have? What card are you most excited for, Shrink Saving? Um, As I've mentioned a lot on social media, I really don't even go through the spoilers until the whole set is revealed. And I think it was, but I haven't gone through it yet. So, so it's hard for me to say. I just can't keep up. It's like impossible to keep up when they release like 45 cards a day and the set's done in three days. I'm going to take Shackles. I think it has the highest upside. Time Twister. Clearly to go with our memory. Also Celestial Colony and Nashiok, both of which are very good. I think I just want this Ashiok. I think it's, I think it's very good. Take out the battle, the batter, batter skull, battle skull. I don't even know what the Codex Artifact creature is. Instance? Wait, what can go wrong with the non-permanent spell cascade? Does it only hit spells? First line, you can't cast permanence. Oh, dear. Oh, Torrential Gearhulk. We have Consecrated Sphinx, Commit to Memory. Not, not, not Consecrated Sphinx, Sublime Epiphany. Uh, Days, Counter. I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the Gearhulk here. Oh, Glacial Fortress. Like it. Like it. Cody, oh the oh this is the book. This is a little book. You can't cast permanence. One four for three. You tap four in this to add five, so you're netting a mana. When you cast your next spell, this turn exile cards in the earlier, so you exile instant or sorcery with lesser mana value. So, next thing card without paying the mana cost. I mean, oh the Teferi did come back. Oh my god. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. Lingering Soul seems fine for us. I don't think Emrakul's making the cut here. Open your heart. Jupes came back. Then your mind. I would love to take Thought Knots here, but we literally have only Library of Alexander to cast it. I'm not using him because he's good. The deck is going to be chaotic neutral. Okay, buddy. Okay. Okay. Take it easy. Hold on for one more day. Are you guys even holding on for one more day or, or what? What's the, what's the deal here? Immortal Sun came back? I mean, it's worse now because we have... I'll take... I'm going to take the Sun. Sure, why not? What the hell? What the heck, you know? This deck's looking sweet. Um... I do like Necromancy. Painful Truth is going to draw us three cards. Mana base is decent. We have Glacial, Godless, Henge Gate, Pathway, and Polluted Delta for white sources for like four white cards. Plus we can probably play a Plains as well, I assume. Ew to Wilson Phillips? Oh my god. What an actual... God, Josh, I, I'm always like, man, that Josh is a classy guy. And then you say something like that, and I'm like, what a what a mistaken judgment I've made. Oh, wow, they mana flared me. 
Is that a real card? <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the, the Strixhaven card. Someday somebody's gonna make it when I turn around and say goodbye. Till then, baby, are you gonna let them hold you down and make it cry? Don't you know? Don't you know? Things can change. Things can go your way. You can hold on for one more day. Things can go your way. Hold on for one more day. Anybody think that putting the arguably better half of doubling season on a legendary creature that protects itself is somewhat of a mistake? You know what, buddy? I, I think there's uh, there's there's a lot of things that are potential mistakes. I need one cut. I kind of like the way our deck looks, to be honest. Just do 41. 41. Oh, okay, guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll just do 41 cards. That's I'm sure that's totally reasonable. I can see cutting wall of omens. Deal. Till then, baby. We got blue. We got one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, eleven. That's a good amount. White, we have one, two, three, four, five. Five seems fine for three cards. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go eight, ten. Oh, 41 sunglasses, eh? All right, all right, and Don't you know if you change, you can go your way. It's going to be stuck in my head forever. What's, um, so... You can't reprint moxes because of the reserve list, but what if you made a mox that costs zero mana and you could tap it for black or blue or white or green? Like, what if you could tap? What if they made allied colored moxes? Hmm? You know, they're not moxes, so you get around the reserve list, and then you know you have these these moxes that that exist, and uh, it's just I can't I can't I can't think of anything that would go wrong. Seems fair and balanced. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really. Uh... It's weird because, like, if you guys didn't think they were a good idea, then you'd be questioning my design prowess. And then, I mean, a one mana mox that could tap for two colors is 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 basically soul ring, right? So we're either we're either. Uh... We're either remaking the Moxes or remaking Soul Ring. Things will go the other way. Hold on, hold on, I'm going to keep this hand for sure, boy. Oh, look at this. I got a Lutri. Lutri's funny because you can literally just play him as your companion and it's free. Because each card in your starting deck has a different, and your starting deck has a different name. Oh, it's not free because your mana base. Oh, each non land. Never mind. Okay. So, yeah, it's free. Oh, one more day. It, soaring is power nine and three quarters. Agreed. Oh, big oafs. Ah. <sighs> 
Oh, that's unfortunate. Now you're being a jerk. Could have actually thirsted this turn, discard Sphinx, and next turn Necromancy. But, as a green deck, they could just kill the Necromancy and then we just don't have our Consecrated Sphinx. Although I guess it is possibly likely that we could have drawn two. I mean, they could have Path to Exile or is this blue-green? Yeah. Okay. Venser. No. Yeah, sure. I know that they're there. Okay. Boring clicks in the graveyard. I kind of don't want to play this yet. I think we can actually play Thirst, discard like Looter and something else. Well, I doubt they're attacking here. Yep. So they have six mana, but they discarded a Vorinclex. Fascinating. I was like, pay one. I did. It's literally... <sighs> cool. <laughs> you got it. And now they're going to counter my Chupacabra. Sweet. I mean, if we hit a land, we can steal their Hull Breacher, I guess. Wow, they're really, really doing well for themselves. Oh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, seven mana, huh? Oh, gee, I wonder what you're going to do with this guy. Can you help me put this guy in the graveyard? No, I'm good. Sure, that's fine. What'd they just do? Oh, they just put Lutra in their hand? Sure. Well, that's not a land, unfortunately. Oh, boy. Come on, land. Did you get the new Magic the Gathering comic that came out this week? No, I don't really care about Magic comics. Hmm. Fascinating. Magic is a weird game that, like, I, I care about Magic the game a lot, but I don't really care about many of the supplemental things at all. <sighs> so there's a lot to change. Now, you know you have Lutri in hand in one of their cards, so if the other character goes Counterspell, it was not. Could have attacked first to try to hit one of their land. Oh, you can't. You can't hit land with Thief of Sanity, so. Never mind. Um, I kind of like Mental Mist up here. Like, we're going to draw a bunch of cards, and if they have, like, 
path to exile or something. Like, I don't really feel like dealing with that. Man, I was going to concede this game. <laughs> Don't you know? Things are going the other way. Nothing else, huh? Okay. One, two, three. This should prevent you from doing anything we care about. Oh, I like Phantasmal Image. I also like Snapcaster Mage. We don't have anything really Snapcaster. I'll just take the image here. Mm -hmm. Hold on for one might be. Um, I don't know if I want to, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five to one, two, three. I guess we can bounce this guy. That's pretty good. I'll draw two more, sure. Why not? Oh, we're just gonna just gonna win the game. Sounds good. <laughs> Man, Hall Breacher is a hell of a card. Thanks for giving it to me. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Kyers, welcome back. Thank you for the resub, buddy. I really appreciate it. Um, what's the deal? Is there anything not good against them? I kind of don't want to get got with a thirst, unfortunately. I almost kind of like living death, just to like get rid of all their things. I think we're probably fine like this. Eh. Shackles could be good. I mean, like we saw two islands that game though. So I'm like, I'm not super convinced that Till then, baby, where's my other lands that are in my deck? Mulligan, gonna mull, mulligan, gonna mulligan again. Gonna go to five cards this game, yeah. Cause I have no lands. I'm gonna go to five cards, yeah. Yep, snap it. All right, um... Uh, put these two lands back. We have Teferi. Yeah, let's definitely put this and this back. Done. And this is a really good five. Let's play this guy. Play this guy. Crack it. Get a Gala Shrine. And play a Strix Lorino. And next time we're just going to bounce this Draga Tree Speaker, which is pretty bananas. And I hope they don't have anything else to play, but... Nice. Oh, this is a, te a three-mana Teferi. Oh, this is a five-mana five Teferi. <laughs> Well, while they don't have... Wait, hold on. Oh, no, I did it. I fucked up. Dang it. Dang it. I got the wrong Teferi. And I didn't play my land correctly, the Painful Trues. I'm so stupid. Everything is wrong. All I had to do was play Swamp, and then I can go, you know, white, black, blue, draw three. But as long as they tap out for, like... <sighs> that leaves Hull Breacher up, unfortunately. Oh, never mind. Get that loot tree. 
in your hand, my little man. Uh, one, two, three. Painful truths for me. One, two, three. Um, so if they have Warren Clex, I'm not going to chump block. Actually, we should have kept Baleful Strix back, I guess. That would have been good. I guess we can tuck it with Teferi, though. Well, that was like the first Hull Breacher that actually did anything that we cared about. I mean, I played a Hull Breacher and then we like time spiraled or time walked or whatever. Time twisted, rather. And then they we got seven clues out of it. So that was pretty sweet. Um, you can play the Garrick. I'm just going to give you the spell skite. They didn't play the spell skite, though. It's fascinating. One, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Break free from the chain. All right. Um, Did we see any counter spells last game other than Sure. I think they have like mental mist of blue tree. Well, maybe they got a counter spell here. Sure. <laughs> you got it. Um, you can have cold steel heart. So we know you have these three in hand. Yeah, Kairos, you've definitely been sub for more than five months. I can guarantee it. Eh, that's fine. If you had a signature spell you could cast in real life, what would it be? <laughs> I have no idea, actually. That's a good question, though. Oh, they're going to preordain a Lutri? Oh, that's unexciting, but fine, I guess. I kind of want to hit it on the land here so we can Treachery and then keep up Sublime Epiphany. Then we can copy our Thrag Tusk. What would Time Walk do in real life? Oh, we have Sublime into... Well, we have to hit lands, I guess. Oh, we're stealing Thrag Tusk, I guess, so that's still fine. I kind of just want to thirst here. Okay, I like that. Um, we don't have an artifact, so I guess... It's... Oh, we do have an artifact. We could discard Gear Hulk. I think we're getting rid of Rif Riftwing and Swamp here.
So next turn we can keep up Sublime Epiphany and the turn after that keep up Torrential Gear Hulk. So you know how long I have Lutri. No one can change your life except for you. A lot of mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana right now. That's good. It's very good. That's that's good, but you still only have three colors right now. You have blue, green, and whatever Gilded Lotus will make. So this would put you on four colors. Now you can actually name another color with Cold Steel Heart. Uh, you can have Once Upon a Time. I don't really want you having Cryptic Command. Smellskite. No Cold Steel Heart. Hold on for my breath. Okay, well, we do get to kill Karn, which is nice. Karn. So now they have red, green, blue, and a fourth color here. They don't have a fifth color because Cold Steel doesn't come into play untapped. So we have a turn for that. So we can probably just pass here. They have a million mana anyway, so I'm not super concerned with like <laughs> killing a Draga Tree Speaker or something. Five mana, six mana. Foreign clicks. Wow, if you have a counter spell, that's pretty bad. Cast, counter it. What permanent are we returning? Probably just Gilded Lotus. Choose a creature to copy, Thrag Tusk, and I'll draw. Like, we know they have Cold Steel and Once Upon a Time, right? So that's, they have one other card other than that. Yeah, they're going to add three. Add three green, play Once Upon a Time, see if you can hit Hell Breacher. Oh, what? Five mana. Do you just have a counter? Your third card is just a counter spell? Fucking cool. <sighs> that's frustrating. Yep. So we take five, eight. Golos is problematic, especially with the spell scout on the board. I'll hold this guy back. We're just going to take an extra three damage, but 
ideally we're going to gear hulk and copy it so I don't think they have another counter spell here for obvious reasons. So we're going to just keep up Torrential Gear Hulk. Our whole hand is instance except for Ophiomancer. Not like we want to cast Necromancy in instant speed, but it is an option. Black, red, green, blue. Yeah, they're trying to just activate Golos. Yep. Lanor of Hull Breacher <laughs> and Woodland Cemetery. Not things I super care about. It's actually not bad. Hmm. Just jump block here. I don't know if I'm going to three. Really? You have something else? Oh, okay, cool. So that's gone. Mm -hmm. No, no. Rex Sage. Yeah, that's pretty good. Choose Sublime Epiphany. Yep, let's cast it. This target activator triggered ability. Is it going to counter its own ability? <laughs> Turn on land, create a token, draw a card, cast. Choose a spell. This one. Choose a non land permanent to return to their hand. Ch say Golos. Choose. Choose a creature you control. This guy. We could we could actually copy Torrential Gear Hulk, but we're just the only thing we have is Thirst. Could we bounce our treasure to take Golos? Yes. If I hit cancel, does it cancel the whole thing? Okay, good. That was really scary. Um okay, look, the counter target activated trigger ability is gone, so I guess I don't get to choose that. Choose a spell this. A non -land. We could we um I think it returns Treach, but we wouldn't be able to copy this. And I don't actually care about Golos. I think I'd rather just have the life in the cards here. I mean they're gonna redirect to spell skite anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, see. That did not work. Love it. Oh, that's that was actually pretty okay. I think they chose the wrong mode. They might have chose the counter mode. I actually don't know. Rex Age. Sure. You got it. Ah, boy. Seems good. Man, having Phantasmal Image Rex Age is two of your last cards in hand is pretty good.
That would have been decent. Hmm. It's not looking great for us here. We can Ophiomancer and just keep up Counterspell, which seems pretty decent here. Being able to Counterspell the Golos on the way back down is great. Oh, I think we're fine. I mean, they have like one, two, three, four, five relevant attackers. We have like seven blockers. Two, two one blocks. Like, I mean, we're at 11 now too, thanks to the Thrag Tusk, so. And they have two cards, one of which is Golos. So we can easily counter that idiot. For one more day. Being able to necromancy that Golos is also pretty good. Having a 3-5 that gets us another land. It's not the worst. Also, our last card is... That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I mean, with 11 cards in the library, they're basically looking at their entire deck. Demonic Tutor times two. I mean, thankfully, they're basically just blue-green, so they might not have a... Sure. Man, they're just going deep here. Jeez. They have six cards in their library? Good grief, man. Come at me, bro. Ophiomancer is just great here because it just blocks their biggest thing and then doesn't care about anything else. Oh, they left Golos in the graveyard? And Vorinclex. Interesting. Do we just assume they have counter spells? I don't think it matters. Well, now we know they don't. Uh, I'm not going to, when they just dig through time and got their two best cards, I'm not going to actually uh, play play Necromancy without Tefri backup. Um. Hmm. I almost kind of like Riffling here, but I think we're just going to get Golos. Golos seems better for our long game. We have one, two, three blue and one, two black. Cool, cool, cool. Although if they have a bounce spell, they can bounce their own Golos back, which could be problematic. Yeah, I'll keep a I'll keep a chups on the top. Chups on the top. Chups on the top. Chups on the top. We could Tefri bounce this, but we don't get to draw a card, unfortunately. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just going to plus Tefri here. 
Are we just trying to mill them? I don't actually know. I'm going to pass here because I don't feel comfortable. Next turn we have Go for the Throat and Chupacabra and Teferi to get rid of like three creatures. So like whatever they have, like it has to be really good. They might just not have many good things left. Like we've seen a lot. Okie dokie, three cards left in their library. If we have an Ancestral Recall, we win. <laughs> oh boy. And that's the end. They're probably like, well, we got our two best cards. We have nothing left. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, man. That was a game right there. Well, that's... Oh, we also mulliganed five that game, didn't we? That was a good mull. Probably shipping the black, getting godless shrine here. <coughs> Now we're just playing that and drawing card next turn. Well, that's unfortunate. I wasn't expecting the brain maggot. We could just miss one land drop. I mean, is that... It feels like a small price to pay to, like... Hmm. You know what? I'm going to do it. We're going to risk it for the biscuit. We're here to make the... We're going to make the bold plays. It's really like him to Torok, and I'm like, no, draw a card. <laughs> Here we go. So now it's just like we're on the draw anyway, so. Oh, no, not my biscuit. Yeah, that's right. That's right, biscuits. Okay, so now we play a land, draw a card. Play Looty Tootie. Oh, they're just stuck on two? Well, this game's over then. I mean, if their plan is to kill this guy, I don't care. Okay. There's a land. No? No land. Okay. Well... Oh, I like a Lingering Souls. Let's uh, play our land again. Draw a card. And then Linger. Oh, no. Okay, bye. Love you. Love you. <laughs> a second brain maggot.
draw, draw. Do, 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 I'm gonna draw. Um, I think it's just Baleful Strix Lingering Souls, right? That seems good. That puts us to nine. No, this puts us to eight, I guess. Oh, and then we can, we can suspend the Cloudy Boy. All right. Oddly, I think we just want to swamp here. <laughs> so that. Um, let's see what we can get. Yep, that's what I figured. Bailey boy. And then... Oh, we're not suspending this. We're playing these two. Never mind. I, f I didn't even realize what we were doing there. I'm not smart. They're playing this whole game on two lands. <laughs> it's not good. Feels like we're in good shape. Who can say? That's pretty good. Um, is mine better? I think so. This draw two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> okay. They're like, oh, he's 10 bunch of mana. I'll just concede. All right. Well, that's your, that's your prerogative, I guess. God, this hand is also great. Oh boy. Actually, we could just play Mox here, which prevents them from stealing our Mox. Let's draw, play Mox. Yeah, so if they have like Brain Mac, I don't want them to take my Mox. Don't take my Mox, huh? This also lets us not even play behind the curve here. Um, Yeah, just play land. Pass, and now we get to keep up Counterspell and Library. Oh God.
think we're just discarding a land here. I will actually keep that. Hull Breacha. No Hull Breacha. Let's play Looty, Looty Tootie. Fast and Fruity. Oh, they're doing something. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Look, this guy's not necessary to me, uh, to me finding some cards. Well, I'm not going to play my Planeswalkers without having backup here. So we're just going to keep passing, keep drawing, and keep playing lands. Apparently they are as well. So now I think we're just going to play a Planeswalker. Oh dear. We get to draw an untapped library and land and then draw a library. <laughs> Okie dokie. We are uh, currently undefeated. Hmm. Let's do the thing, doo 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 doo. Oh, 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 love it! Absolutely love it. You got it. He studied carefully. Play this guy. Play this guy. Pass the turn. Oh, we got a turn two Thief of Sanity after we counter your first play? Yeah, that's fine. Well, now I'm not playing Thief of Sanity. Oh, got a demo, though. Next turn, we can demo and keep up a counter spell. If they name blue, we can demonic tutor for like a go for the throw or something. Diabolic edict. They might name black because obvious reasons. We do need a swamp. They named white? Land. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, it is a white card, unfortunately. I might actually just tutor for a land because we're really looking for lands here. 
Wait, actually, what do we do if we get that though? That's oof, that's not good. <sighs> Dang it. There's nothing we can play with these two, right? No. We can go for the throat next turn. Yeah. I think we have to just get a, a land here. I have two cards. Oh, what up, Zimini Pot? Let's get a temple. It's got to be the best land we can hit, right? Better than Goblet Shrine. Oh, yeah, let's keep that on top, actually. Sure, that's fine. Big B, Ireland, Hum, booze, dooba doo dooba dooch, dooba doo doo doo. Bingo, bango, bongo, I don't want to leave the Congo. No, 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 no. Bingo, bango, bongo, I don't want to leave the Congo. I refuse to go. Put the thing in the graveyard. Doot, doot, don't hit gristle brand. I guess we just take it if we hit a gristle brand, right? Fucking <laughs> of course. And of course we hit a Grizzle Brand. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> that's what do we do if we hit a Grizzle Brand? I don't want to put it in the graveyard. Uh, I guess we'll just take it. Oh, of course that's the exact thing that happens. Thoughtseize, that's unfortunate. If you take Gear Hulk, we still have a piff. If you take a piff, we still have Gear Hulk, so I guess now we only have one a piff. Yeah, I feel like we're actually in good shape here. We also have six mana. We're two mana away from just hard casting Grizzly B. Hmm. You guys like you want you want to see the pro plays? But no matter how it's not done, I'll stay right. Here. Oh, mana drain that we can actually cast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sure oh god this is just this is a bloodbath they have a family uh gravy tea works for me if we get one more land, we're just... I mean, I'm not going to take down my mana drain shields. So there's absolutely no reason to do so. We can also flash in Gear Hulk. Yep, sounds good. Well. Hmm. What do they see, darling? Jokes on them, we don't even have that much white. <laughs> no blue in this hand, huh? I'll keep it on the off chance that I can reanimate one of their creatures better than they can. Ideally, we can draw either a Temple of Deceit no, that's good. Or a uh, him to Torok, which might actually be helping them. 
island is. Papa likes an island. Oh, an Urborg? That's helpful. Isn't that nice? Now we can just play islands and they're just automatically swamps. Sweet deal. I don't think I think we're just discarding lands here, to be quite honest. You got a counter spell? Okie dokie. You got it. It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, we're just attack. Wait. Oh, we're just that's it. We're using the mana to attack with a colonnade. Well, it's not the best that I've seen. Well, I kind of like. I kind of want to find a land here. I mean, I'm, I'm wishing I didn't discard both lands, but also every card in my hand is good. So, you guys still arguing about the friggin' Teferi in this? The image? Good grief. Okay, so we just get to kill this. Land would be great. Treachery. That is a five mana land. All right. Well, didn't think it would come to this, but uh, actually, Baleful Strix might be a better land, right? Told you it's just a better land. <laughs> I mean, maybe discarding both lands is greedy, but uh, I think we're fine. I think our deck has enough uh, digitude. Yeah, sure. That guy's fine. Yeah, might as well see if they have another counter spell. They do not. Oh, I didn't. I didn't choose any lands to untap because I'm a I'm a rank amateur. Not great, Bob. Does it matter? Yeah, maybe not. Grave Titan, sure. Can I have that? Probably. This guy coming down. Oh yeah. Bounce this guy. Oh, we just won the game. 6 oh, <laughs> sounds good. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And uh, head on over to twitch.tv slash frankport. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow. Make sure we see each other again. For the Cyclismo, I'm going to open this, this treasure chest right now. It's like opening packs. See what happens. A Ruins of Orin Reef. And a trait doctoring. And then five play points. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.